so I wanted to share a mini album that I've made for my friend who's getting married. Um, I got married back in April and she's getting married in August so I thought it would be fun to make a how to survive your wedding mini album. <laughs> so this is it. It's a file folder mini album that um, I made the base pages using a tutorial I watched a long time ago. I will try to post a link down below. And it's just made with manila file folders and um, so on the front here I've put just this closure, just some elastic that I've tied together. And then this is um, some lace, it was white and I tea dyed it to make it look more rustic. So um, you can see the before and after photos of that on my blog which I'll put a link to down below as well. So that just goes around. And um, I put some cardstock here just to secure the spine a bit better. And um, put just some pearl bling there um, to make it a bit pretty on the front. So you open it up and um, I got my lettering practice <laughs> doing this. I've never really been much good with my lettering, but I think that came out well. So it just says, how to survive your wedding day. Um, to m and with love from s, &S. They're Matt and Maddie and we are Shannon and Sarah. So I thought that was kind of cute. And then um, each of the pages, I've got 10 different ways to survive your wedding. And I just got, had some stamps and I just gold embossed each of the numbers. And then on this one, um, there's like a decorative border that I sewed. I've recently learned how to sew. So that's kind of fun as well. <laughs> So I just put a decorative border here because that makes a pocket. Um, so I stitched the pocket together and then I just sewed on this piece of trim which I've made into a faux um, bookmark. And then I gold embossed this chandelier. And the first one is sleep. Um, pretty basic but it's always good to get a good night's sleep the night before your wedding I think. <laughs> And then this is a top loading pocket and for, to make these um, I just used some Project Life cards um, because I was going to make my own inserts out of the manila folders and then I realized that they were the perfect size for Project Life cards for the top loading pockets and um, the side loading pockets. Oops, sorry, everything's gone a bit dark. That's better. <laughs> the side loading pockets um, just needed to be trimmed down a little bit. So this one says feeling the love and it's got number two, which is to have a helper. I didn't realize how important it was to have someone to hold your lipstick and um, whatever <laughs> um, to keep time for us and all of that. Um, this page, I've put some um, gold glitter paper matted on with this nice um, patterned paper here. And I've just um, paper pieced a Prima doll. I think this one's called Rita. And I thought that looked kind of like a wedding dress. I thought that was very pretty. Number three is to eat before the wedding. Um, I had a little bit to eat before my wedding and then I barely ate at the reception. So the first proper meal I had was that evening. <laughs> so... Um, you know, I think that's important as well. This page, I put some gathered lace here and um, sewed on this piece of vintage lace as well. I left all of these open because I had intended to make them into like pockets and tuck things into them, but I didn't end up doing that because I didn't think it needed it and I thought it was just pretty on its own. So that's that one. This is a side loading pocket just some gold foil birds. I've made this all in creams and I added the, the touch of gold to it to make it pop a little bit more. And this one says to enjoy the little things. I think it's easy to get caught up in the big moments of your wedding day and it's nice just to enjoy having a chat to a guest or having a laugh with your photographer or something like that. Number five is spend time with your bridal party. Another really important one I think because you chose them because they're important people to you and I think you should spend time with them at your wedding. Um, this is just some more lace and um, this one is just some trim as well. I've sewed all these down and that's another gold embossed uh, mannequin there. This one's number six, enjoy the photos. We have over two and a half thousand photos from our wedding and we still didn't get all the ones we wanted. So. <laughs> 
even though your teeth hurt, I think you need to take lots of photos. And that says smile pretty, which I thought was apt for the photo tip. Um, this one is number seven, spend time with your spouse. I see so many weddings where they, um, the bride and groom run off to talk to family members or friends separately, which is fine. But um, so many people I see spend most of the day apart from each other. And I think like you're getting married to spend time with them. <laughs> so, um, that's my tip here. And this one was um, some trim here and it had a rough edge. So I sewed on this extra trim to sort of double it up which I think is really pretty. Uh, this is another gold embossed border. This is a little pocket made from some cotton lace. And this is another paper pieced Prima doll. I think this one's called Audrey. This page, another side load in pocket number eight, quiet moments. This was the most important part of the day for my husband and I. We snuck off at the reception just to have five minutes alone together. Um, and it was really lovely. So that's that's my top tip, actually, for a wedding is to have a few quiet moments together away from everyone and the buzz of the day. It says, celebrate the little things. This one, I sewed down the lace just on one edge so that you pull it back. I thought that was really pretty. My number nine tip is to roll with it. Just let the day wash over you because... It goes so quickly, as everyone always says. Um, this is a border punch on some gold sparkly paper. Uh, I think it's a Martha Stewart punch, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, this is some more cotton lace I sewed down. This is the Prima Doll called Nikki, which is lovely. Um, another gold embossed corner piece, and this is just some Tim Holtz washi tape. And this is my number 10, enjoy the attention. I'm not one to like being the center of attention, but I thought this was one day where you're gonna get complimented by everyone and congratulated by everyone. And um, you should enjoy it. And then I have here on the last page, most of all, have fun. This is, um, this piece here was actually the backing for the Prima Dolls, but I thought it was really pretty. So I kept it to use for something and I thought, it matched this. It's all sort of um, printed there. This is another gold sparkly um, 3x4 Project Wife card. Just a scrap bit of paper that I made into a little flag there. And this says Keep Calm and Say I Do, which is from a Kaiser Craft collection, which I added there. And uh, this is a photo of me and my friend Maddie, who this album is going to. She came and took a selfie with me at the wedding, so I thought that was a nice touch just to add in there. And um, there's just some more lace in the bottom here. There was one gathered lace and a non-gathered, and I sewed them together to make a sort of double-ended piece there. And um, I sewed this gold... Um, ribbon on the end before I realized that this was going to cover it but I thought that doesn't matter <laughs> so that's the album I've made um, I hope you've enjoyed seeing it and I hope that my friend likes receiving it um, until next time I'll see you later